Hey there. In this video, we are going to do some yoga and stretching to help ease out back pain, back tension, and for your overall health and well being, but with a little twist. We are incorporating a technique called myofascial pulsing, and this is going to do wonders to help create length and space in your back and in your body. And and really help with the long-term success of easing out back pain and back tension. This is all part of my series called The Wheel of Healing and Vitality, where we're looking at this holistic approach and presenting all these amazing methods to help you towards greater back health and getting rid of pain and tension in your body. Just before we start, I want to talk a little bit more about the benefits of myofascial pulsing and release. What myofascial pulsing is, it's a gentle kind of rhythmic massage that targets the fascia, the connective tissue, muscles, organs, and bones in your body. For the back, it helps to release tension and adhesions in your fascia that cause stiffness, pain, and restrictions in movement. By applying sustained pulsing pressure, it improves fascial flexibility, increases circulation, and promotes tissue hydration. And this softens and lengthens the fascia, reducing compression on nerves and restoring the back's natural range of motion. And incorporating regular myofascial pulsing into your yoga, into stretching into your life, can help to alleviate chronic back pain, improve posture, and enhance overall spine health and function. And personally, I come from a Thai yoga massage background. I've been teaching it and giving it for over 20 years. So to do this safely, we're going to actually dip into a bit of that knowledge as well. And the way I want you to practice pulsing when we do it, and we're going to start right now, is also you know with an easing in kind of methodology to feel your body to do things that are safe for you to to give yourself a little bit of space to breathe and release we'll pulse a little bit and then we'll follow it up with another longer hold to help feel the effects and to help integrate the benefits right into your body so let's begin by getting into butterfly now, butterfly technique involves putting your feet together and your knees are out. If this is a difficult position for you to sit in flat on your yoga mat, you can always sit up on a block, on a pillow, or on a cushion. And this is both a great way to start our yoga practice and also figure out what some myofascial pulsing is. So, one way that we can pulse it's like flapping your wings, letting your knees go up and down a little bit. So we're gonna do this very gently. You wanna feel just a little bit of movement here in your inner groin and in your hips. And then we're gonna also go back and forth. So feel what feels good for you. We're doing this very gently. We're not exploring edges just warming up our back until now and now we're going to come forward and here's what I mean by starting off our, our posture our asana with more of a hold to integrate and feel what's going on in our back don't go necessarily as deep as you can go we're wanting to ease into our body come up and now we're gonna flap our wings a little bit more vigorously so now we're really pulsing. We're going to do this for about 20, 30 seconds to encourage some opening in our inner hips and in our groins, which are very much connected to all kinds of back issues. Let's do this for about five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lift up. Take a breath. Inhale. Come forward, hold it for just a breath. And now rock your body back and forth. Again, if you want to explore a little bit more or coming closer to your edge with your pulsing, we're going to do this for about 20 repetitions. So we'll count it out 20, 19, 18, 17, 
You can let your head hang down or lift it up a little bit, protecting your back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. And breathe. And let's take a couple of nice breaths here, helping to, again, integrate and release tension in your lower back in your sacrum, in your hips, in your whole body. One more nice breath. And release. Good. Come up. Bring your knees together. And let's straighten out our legs. And we're going to come into a forward fold now. So just before we head into the forward fold, let's make a few circles with our neck and shoulders. Lifting your arms up, place a pillow in your lap if you like, or simply come forward. And again, let's not push it just yet. We are still in the warm up phase. So we can hold it here for a breath or two. Coming up, inhale again. And now you can go to the same depth or if you want to go any further into your back and into your body, you can. And we'll hold this for another two or three breaths. You should feel so good in your back, feeling that lengthening and just getting to know your body. And from here, let's come onto our front. Lying flat on the mat, we're going to do Cobra. And we'll start with a mini Cobra, placing your palms by your ribs. Chin is on the mat, taking a nice breath, inhale and lift up just a little bit. Easing into those back bends and release. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale, coming up. And coming down. Now this time, if we can do our cobra a little bit higher or coming up as high as you can, inhale. And if you can, getting your arms straight or close to straight or stay in the low cobra. Keep your neck long, breathe here. You wanna feel a nice stretch in your front body, in your hip flexors, as well as in your lower back and come down. We're going to do it one more time, either as a cobra or as an up dog. Inhale. Up dog is the same, except you put more of the weight onto the front of your feet, creating space between your quadriceps and mat. And from here, coming down, flip your feet and let's lift up and come into a downward dog. Breathe here a couple of times. Nice lengthening for your back and for your back body. And then walk or step to the front of your mat. Come into a forward fold. And let's lift all the way up. Circling your arms up. Bringing your hands to your heart. Breathing here for just a couple of nice breaths. Feel into your back and into your body. Feel this as like a moving meditation and a moving massage for your back. Inhale your arms up. Lift up, reach up, one arm at a time. Interlace your fingers. Reach up a little more here. And then let's come into a forward fold Interlace your fingers behind your back and you can leave them on your back or if you have range of motion in your shoulders, let's raise our arms up as high as you can in a way that feels good for you. Opening up your shoulders and your whole back body. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Let's 
add in a little bit of core work. So release your fingers, bring your arms up, and let's come into chair pose. So you're coming into a little squat. Knees are bending, arms up as high as you can, keeping your back as straight as you can. Breathing here a couple of times. And let's repeat. Come down, interlace your hands behind your back, coming up. And continuing back up to chair. Couple of breaths each time, two or three breaths here. We're gonna do it a couple more times, and this time one breath, one movement. Inhale. Exhale, come up to chair. And one more time. Excellent. So from that chair pose, come up, back to that mountain pose, take a nice breath, wiggle, move, move your body in whatever way feels good for you. And from here, inhale your arms up. Let's come into forward fold. Again, but this time, actually we're going to do just one nice round of arms again and chair and then one more for good luck arms up and chair pose and then fold forward and bring your arms if you have it in your practice I want you to bring your arms out to the side and keeping a nice flat back if this is too much for your back, just go into a forward fold or stand up and we'll meet you there in just a moment. It's nice breaths and nice moves to help give a little strength to your back and to your core are all going to help release tension and make for a nice stronger back. Bring your hands down, come into forward fold. Inhale, bringing your arms up, circling up, and coming back down, hands to your heart. Breathe and feel it. Make a few more circles. Let's start with circles of the neck, circles of the shoulders, and circles at the hips waist and now we're going to bring in some pulsing so again only do this if this is good for your body and good for your back I want you to start with your feet at about uh, hip width apart and we're going to bend our knees a little bit inhale our arms up and lean forward so you're bringing your elbows to your inner knees and first we're going to hold this and feel feel what your back is feeling like maybe noticing where it feels tight or tense in any areas breathe here and then the pulsing motion is to move your elbows in to your knees it can go on the outside of your knees it can touch your knees or on your inner knees we're going to just do the gentle pulse, just like we did earlier on the butterfly a few times. Nothing big yet. Just stay here for a couple more breaths. And inhale. Arms up. Hands to heart. So now you've got a sense of the pulsing. We're going to do that again. And you can do it at the same depth, or if you can go a little further, see if you can explore your edges a little more. So inhale your arms up, hands behind your head, and come forward. Feel it, and rock. And I'm gonna count this out, let's do it 20 times. 20, 19, 18, 17, 
6, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, breathe, release your neck, let it hang long, release your arms, inhale your arms up, back to your heart. Take a breath here, moving your neck, encouraging and inviting in a flow of energy, of circulation, of movement in your back and in your body. We can make a few shoulder shrugs again and a nice circle at the waist. I'm going to just turn my body so you can see it at a slightly different angle. Put your feet out a little wider this time, so at the width of your mat. We're going to do it two times at this width. First time with your feet pointing forward. Inhale your arms up. Interlace your fingers. And come down, bend your knees again a little bit, and hold. And do the gentle pulsing first. So it's like we're just rocking our body back and forth. This time, your elbows are probably going to be touching your knees or your, just on the inside of your knees a little bit. Good. Hold it here. Take a nice breath. And now let's pulse it again more deeply to whatever depth feels good to you. I'm going to count it out again. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Wiggle into your hips a little bit if you can while you're in the hold. Feel your back and feel your body. Release your hands and slowly come up. Bringing your hands together. So how is that? Good. Let's do it one more time in this depth. This time just turn your feet out a little bit. Inhale your arms up. And just before we come down, again, just move your body. We're integrating, not in a rush, doing some nice things for our back to just get all the benefits right away. And here we go. Arms up. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And let's come forward, bending your knees just a little bit. Hold it here. Breathe it in a couple of times. Do the gentle rocking. And then we can increase the depth of our pulse to whatever degree works for you. And here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Let your neck hang long. You can release your hands if that feels more comfortable for you. And wiggle into your shoulders and then slowly elevate again. Arms up, hands to heart and breathe and feel. Slow it down. Part of back health, part of how we get into the issues first is that we go so quickly in our life and we're just using our backs and our bodies in all these ways that don't often support us. And then the reverse is just as true that by slowing down, these mountain poses are so good to give your body a chance to heal, but also just by slowing down, you're doing so many good things for yourself. We're gonna do it optionally one more time. Now, if you wanna just stay in the mountain pose, cause this is what's feeling good for you today, honor your body and honor your back. But if you have it in you and you wanna do one more pulsing, we're gonna open our legs even wider this time and turn your feet out a little wider as well. So. We're in a wide squat, bending your knees in a moment, but 
for now. Just inhale your arms up, interlace your fingers again, put them on the back of your head. As we come down, we'll bend our knees and letting our head hang long, our neck hang long, gentle pulsing here, more of a sway for a few repetitions and now we'll bring it to whatever depth we can. Feel your edges and let's count it out. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Feel. Breathe it out. If you want to add the arms out and bring your legs straight for a little bonus core, you can add that in. When you're ready, come back up. Circle your arms up. Bring your feet together and breathe. Inviting in all kinds of good energy into your body and letting go of stress and tension. Arm and shoulder circles and neck circles and circles here at the waist and the hips. We're starting to cool down So to help in our cool down, come to the front of your mat, inhale your arms up, and then come into a forward fold, lifting up, getting your back nice and straight, and then come forward, in your forward bend, place your hands down, step or jump back, come into plank, Come down vinyasa or just come flat onto the mat. Come up to up dog or cobra. And then flip your feet and come to downward dog. Let's breathe here. Couple more breaths. Then I want you to round your back and come forward and hold here. So again, one more bit of core work as we come to the mat. A rounded plank. And then release. Slowly come down. And then we're gonna come onto our back. So let's lie flat on our backs. Let's bring our right leg into our body and just bring your knee into your body as much as you can. Pulse that a few times. So it's like a gentle myofascial pulse to create a great release in your lower back and in your hip. And then holding onto your knee if you can, make some nice circles. Few nice circles in one direction. Pause. Bring it in and hold it. Think of your as think of this as giving yourself really a nice massage. Just a nice massage for your hip and for your lower back. What an amazing thing you can do for yourself. Back to center and then twist. So guiding your leg, your right leg all the way across your body, your right hand stays on top of your right knee, your right hand, sorry, it's your left hand on top of your right knee and your right hand behind you. If you can turn your head behind you, that's great. If this feels too much, you can always ease out of it and come out of it and maybe go back into it. We're going to breathe here a couple of times. And again, if your back can support it, I want you to bend your other leg and with the hand that's behind you, take your 
toes, and we call this cat catches its tail. And we're going to breathe here and feel that deep into your fascia, deep into the scaffolding of your body. You should probably feel it somewhere in your hips, in your legs, in your lower back, helping to encourage that deep relaxation. A deep letting go. And just deeply accessing that infrastructure of your body that supports everything else. And by affecting this area, it'll be like a chain reaction to promote such sustainable and long lasting health in your back and in your body. Just release this foot, bring this knee up. Let's pulse it again a couple of times just to help ease our way back in. So really gentle and light circles. And then release that leg and inhale, bring the other leg up. Hug your knee in again, pulse it a few times. Oh, it feels so good. And then let's add in our circles. If you have it in your practice to do it with breathing, you can, but you really don't have to. What that means is like inhale as you bring your knee into your body, exhale as you open up the circle and repeat that motion. Reverse. Hold it and guide your knee again across your body. So this time my right hand has my knee, top of my knee, my left arm's going behind me and I breathe it out right here. If you can turn your head in the opposite direction, great. If that's not good for your neck, then don't do it. But you can always pulse your neck a little bit in this one and see if that helps. Almost like building a bridge between the two options. Breathe here, maybe feeling little adjustments and release in your back. And then bend your straight leg. Your other hand takes your foot, your toes. Now we breathe into it. I feel this so deeply in my hip and in my glutes. Such a great way to give yourself like a deep inner massage and to promote that release and circulation in your back and your body. And release and bring your knee into your chest again. And then let it all go for a nice minute of total relaxation. Such an integral part of the practice. I'd like you to try to feel your back long and flat, your neck nice and long, your chin tucked in a little bit, shoulders relaxed, Hands are pointed up to the ceiling. You can always put a pillow under your legs if that helps. But we're melting. And you can even have that as an intention. To melt the tension in your back and in your body. It's not only about strength it's really about softening. And that's why the wheel of healing and vitality really includes all these components. And our practices often involve multiple components to help reprogram your body in real time.
help promote long-term and short-term results and health and wellness in your back and in your body. Feel it. Feel the benefits and feel the difference. And you can stay here for as long as you like. We're going to call an end to our practice for today. If you would like to sit up, and take a breath and again feel what that feels like whenever you're ready you feel it you feel the changes happening in your back and in your body in your heart in your energy welcome it in and i just want to thank you for your practice today and again remind you that this is all part of the wheel of healing health and vitality and you can get a free copy of the Wheel of Health and Vitality by clicking on this link down below. We have a whole playlist of videos here now that is growing and we've got a wonderful library. So I'd love to send you those notifications every time that I put out new videos. And also you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell and get notifications every time I post new videos here. I just want to wish you a healthy back healthy body, an amazing day. We'll talk to you again real soon.